Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 99 of the Michael Pena Senior Show. It's November 23rd, 2018, and I'm your host, Michael Pena Senior. Listen, this comes from an unknown author. We saved so much money on Black Friday by simply not buying anything at all. And you know, I talk about staying on a budget and doing things the right way and, and, and spending money. And today I'm going to give you some ideas uh, for what to buy for gifts. If you, if you are going through some money struggles or if you are having trouble budgeting. But I tell you, just because everybody else is out there acting crazy and lo like a lunatic on Black Friday doesn't mean that you have to be out there doing the same thing. <clears throat> so, I'm, uh, you know, stay on budget. Stay on budget. You know, if you look at your November budget and you don't have any extra money, you can't spend any money today on Black Friday because that's what today is, Black Friday. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I had an excellent Thanksgiving with my family. I hope that you did the same thing. I thank everybody for uh, reaching out to me and uh, wishing me and my family a th happy Thanksgiving. So, um, you know, I talk about the four walls when you are struggling with money and you, you're confused on what bills to pay next. And just to review the four walls, you want to, these are the first bills that you pay no matter what every month. Okay. So the first thing is, is housing. Second thing is food. You know, first of all, you got to have a place to live. You got to eat. The third thing is clothing. Make sure that you and your family are clothed properly. And the fourth thing is utilities. You want to make sure that you got the lights on and you got heat, especially here in New England. I don't know, you know, I'm here in, in Brockton, Mass, and um, yesterday was a frigid 20 degrees out. So, I mean, you got to keep the heat on. You got to keep the lights on. So, those are the four walls when, when you may be struggling with money. Those are the four things that you buy first. So, now today, I'm going to tell you about the four walls of gift giving. Okay, and this is what I believe, and I was just talking to my wife about this last night too, because uh, we want to stay on budget. And I keep on bringing it up. I'm, I'm putting my house up for sale in the spring, and uh, we got a ton of work still to do. So it's going to cost us a lot of money, and, and, and it's stretching our budget. So the four walls of gift giving. These are the four things I believe that when you're, you're looking at your kids and you're looking at people that you're, you're buying for, that, that you should consider, that you should do, especially for your kids, all right? The first thing is, you know, get them something they want. So it's okay to take a look at some stuff that they want. And I mean, again, if you're on a strict budget, you don't need to go get them, a, you know, a 60-inch TV for a thousand bucks or something like that. Stay in budget, get them something they want, you know, make Christmas a little fun. Number two, get them something they need. They're not going to tell you what they need. You know what your kids need. Buy them something they need. So number one, buy them something they want. Number two, buy them something they need. All right. Number three, buy them something to wear. All right. So, I mean, you know, I've got... For us, I mean, my daughter's living with us right now. We've got baby Shay with us. That's my grandchild. You know, it's not difficult to find something they need, and you want to get them something to wear, you know, because and, and, they're not going to tell you what they want, but you got to help them in, in that sense. And number four, which is very important to me, is get them something to read. All right. I mean, we got to continuously educate ourselves. And that's the problem. A lot of people, you know, it, it's easy just to kind of go online to look things up now and, and, and do that stuff. But I, I'm always trying to read at least one book. I read at least one financial book a month. And I also read one sports book a month. Because I like to have fun. I like to read old classic sports books, you know, Um I'm reading Run to Daylight right now by Vince Lombardi. I mean, you want to talk about a book. If you got an old guy on your list, Run to Daylight, get it on eBay. Um, but that's a good one, and there's a lot of financial books. Go to DaveRamsey.com. He's got a $10 sale on all financial books and um, incredible books on there. DaveRamsey.com, $10 books. I mean, come on. 
it's important to educate ourselves. It's important to get books for people. All right. So just again, one more time, something you want, something they need, something to wear, something to read. The four walls of gift giving. All right. I kind of think that's kind of cool. And you know, again, if, if you're struggling like with your budget, I don't want you to go into debt. To, to pay for gifts. Nobody wants you to go into debt. You don't want to be struggling. You know, there's always the old adage, and I and, and I used to live by it too. You know, you buy gifts in December and then you pay for them the rest of the year and the next year. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. There's plenty of part-time work out there for you to in, increase your, your income right now. And that brings up my last thing that I'm going to talk about today. You know, UPS is hiring. UPS is dying for extra help. So if you want a couple of checks, go to UPS. You don't have to stay there for more than a couple of weeks, you know, but get yourself some extra checks. Uh, the, the, the morning shift right now is running about seven or eight hours. You're going to get some hours. You're going to get some money. And they're looking for driver helpers. And you know what? And, and pass this along to everybody, to everybody. Those UPS drivers, I'm out there driving right now for UPS. Those UPS drivers are working hard. So please, please, please be careful with our UPS drivers out there. There's only, you know, they want to make it to that last stop. And that's the, that last stop is home with that family. So pass it along to family and friends. That goes with any delivery guy out there. You know, I'm not going to be prejudiced towards FedEx and, and Amazon drivers and everything. Be careful with these delivery drivers. They're working hard to get your Christmas gifts to you. All right. But especially my big brown, you know, the men and women out there that are working, they are working hard. Believe me when I tell you that. So be careful. Watch out for them. Let them get home to their last stop. All right. So listen, comment, please let me know if you want to talk about anything with your money. I want to talk about things that you want to talk about. Tom B., I'm always thankful for the things that you're sending. I'm reading everything. You know, I, I, I can't answer back with everything, but I am reading everything. I love it. Keep it coming. Again, you know, QB Velocity with my son. If you got an aspiring quarterback, get, get, get your child a gift card to Elite Football Academy if you live in this area, in Brockton area. Um, you can go on EliteFootballAcademy.com and sign your kid up there for winter workouts. All right. There's plenty of things that you can do. Don't bust your budget over Christmas. It's the most difficult time of the year for money. And, and you know, I want you to stay on budget. Think about the future. Think about the way that you're going to spend your money. You know, because I'm always saying, I want to win. I want to help you win. Let's win together.